11 o'clock, it is a test that caught students and teachers, even parents, off guard. Heavily armed SWAT teams storming a classroom during a safety drill. And tonight, a lot of people want to know why there was no warnings. Our Jim Armstrong went looking for answers. The single snapshot taken by a student cowering in the dark looks more ominous than it is. We're looking for it to be as realistic as possible. Last week, more than two dozen SWAT team members descended on Silver Lake Regional Middle and High Schools, weapons drawn but not loaded. The doors are locked, the lights are turned off, and the students are, are asked to go to a safe place in the room, an area where you can't be seen through a window or, or through the door. They just came in with guns. Yeah, it was sort of scary, I guess. Until teachers and students learned this was just a drill. Yeah, everyone in the class just dropped to the ground. People pretty calm, or how did they respond? Yeah, people were calm. Notes went home to moms and dads that day, and some called to complain immediately. Most administrators say accept this as something that just has to happen. Sad, and in another essence, it's it's good, though, because you, you never know what's going to happen. They need to do that in this day and age, which is sad. So it's very different from when I was little. Yeah, it was real, and maybe in some cases to some students it felt too real but the end result is that they recognize the need to take these drills seriously and Jim tells us the superintendent says they learned a lot from this drill specifically about locking doors and staying away from the windows lessons that'll be useful whenever they do this drill again